Haley out in here on campus at UCF, where we bring you a special story this Mother's Day. Junior baseball player Sam Bates received terrible news not too long ago and was forced to make the biggest decision of his life. Oh, it was actually like almost a year ago that we found out, like exactly, almost. And uh, I mean, it was like, it was tough news. Like, she went in in like March and like they said they want to do further tests. We were like, uh, I mean, it's most, more than likely it's not going to be there, but then it was. And then another test showed like that it like not like spread to her lymph nodes, but there was like potential. A lumpectomy and six weeks of radiation now turned into a double mastectomy, radiation, and five months of chemotherapy. At that point, it was time for Sam to make a decision: turn down a guaranteed spot at Florida Tech or stay home to help with his mother's treatment. She just hoped that it wasn't for her and that I was doing what I wanted to do. And uh, she just was always like, you sure you want to do this? You sure you want to do this? You sure you want to do this? And I was like, yes. And Sam came out to tryouts and uh, caught our attention. He was a left-handed hitter and really caught our attention with his enthusiasm, his love of the game. Uh, and obviously we were looking for somebody that could fill that role. So everything matched up. So after the first day of trials, we decided to keep him. As it went on, I learned a little bit more. Obviously, I knew he went to Haggerty High School. We're very good friends with their coach. About a mile down the road, so yeah, I could start kind of seeing the story evolve as the fall went on. Between Sam's passion for baseball and strong family ties with UCF, he knew it was worth the risk of walking on to one of the nation's top teams. My mom, my dad, my brother, both my mom's sisters. I always wanted to come to UCF, so I mean, it's where I grew up and all that. And it was just like, there's a slim chance, so I might as well just take it and help, help out around the house while I can. When your heart's in the right place, things always work out. I mean, they really do. And certainly he chose UCF because take care of his mom and his family first, which is most important. And then obviously the opportunity to go to a school he's always loved and he's grown up right down the road from. So I think the message is that, you know, when you do the right things, great things happen to great people. Uh, and we're and obviously feel very glad that he's a member of our team. While Sam faced several tough decisions and situations throughout the past year, he was never one to draw attention to it. But on January 29th of this year, he sent out a tweet. I didn't know about it until the tweet went out after what, after we told him that he made the team. I mean, I, I just figured, you know, it'd be like any other tweet that I have. Nobody really, I get like four favorites maybe. But I guess uh, somebody on the team retweeted it and then it just went crazy and everybody found out. And then the next day at uh, practice, Coach Rooney brought it up and said that's a really cool, really cool thing that you did that. Yeah, it's pretty special. It's pretty amazing, and um, you know, I personally didn't know about the situation, but for him to uh, you know express express it the way that he did, I think it touched a lot of people, and it really goes beyond the game of baseball. So we're all really proud of of Sam and what he's accomplished. The tweet went viral by Sam standards: 58 retweets and 179 favorites. And then came the day of March 22nd, when number 12 came up to the plate as a pinch hitter. He would record his first hit in the black and gold and teammate Jamarcus Woods wanted to make sure Sam would remember it. The dugout was pretty excited. I mean, they knew that it was a big moment. And uh, I mean, and whenever anybody gets their first hit, they, they get really excited. And he, uh, he, I don't know how he does it, but he just kept an eye on the ball. And we were breaking it down after the game and he gave it to me. Shortly after, Sam's mom, Mary Lou, would be honored in a special game against Jacksonville University. It was uh, pink of the park night. So we had like pink wristbands, uh, pink shoelaces and all that. And uh, my mom and then uh, Sam Tolleson, he, he's out here somewhere. His mom, who also went through it, she threw out a first pitch. So it was a cool moment for all three of them to be able to do that and celebrate being survivors. As the baseball season comes to a close with high expectations for this UCF team, Sam can rest easier knowing that his mom is on her way back to full health. She's perfect, she's fine. Uh, her hair's growing back. Uh, she's starting to get her energy back, starting to go to the gym, get her strength back, all that. And uh, I mean, she doesn't really have any tests that we need to worry about because she's cancer free after the chemo. And since it's Mother's Day. Um, happy Mother's Day, first off. Uh, then I, that I love her and uh, none of this would have been possible without her. Thanks to Sam for sharing his family story with us and glad to hear that his mom is doing well and able to watch her son live out his dream on this beautiful day. And of course, we want to wish all the other mothers out there a happy Mother's Day as well. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.